we're talking about retail here as a general rule, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a store, right? So the first use case here is a national health club chain where video analytics can certainly be used. You know, in this particular case, we've got 151 locations, and then there's 7,000 cameras across these locations. Some of the use cases, you know, we want to know membership statistics, so we're correlating to perhaps point of sale data. We want to know usage patterns, so the utilization of that equipment and the space by demographic. This can also be used from a COVID-19 perspective. We want to know how many people are using what pieces of equipment or what rooms, so that once that equipment is, is vacant or when those rooms are vacant, we can then clean and sanitize appropriately. We want to use video analytics from a gym floor layout and usage perspective, so understand the areas of congregation and plan this gym and plan the equipment so that there are easier navigation paths. Perhaps it's from a safety and security perspective and alert on off hour entry into pool areas or things like that. Or perhaps, again, from a COVID perspective, we talk about steam rooms and not being able to use them currently. And this is the other sort of thing that we can do. So from a more traditional sense, we talk about a Fortune 500 retail clothing chain, 2,300 locations around the U.S. So today, analyzing 500 cameras, but growing to 30,000 in the near future. So in this case, we're monitoring visitor traffic, so store activity levels, store occupancy, and again, demographic pattern, understanding the store layout and navigation of those stores. So again, what are those areas of congregation? What paths are people taking most commonly? What campaigns, what objects that were, or what product that we're merchandising are attracting the most interest? Again, behavior testing, so understanding the behavior of your patrons around your store. And then again, safety and security of employees, advanced alarming on watch lists for perhaps it's folks who've been deemed delinquent or perhaps it's VIPs, right? This can be used from a, from a positive perspective as well and understanding when VIP customers are entering the store. So again, a little bit of a out of the box scenario where you know it doesn't have to be a store, but more from this perspective, a restaurant, in this case, a Fortune 500 coffee house chain. So 9,000 locations across the US, with 45,000 cameras installed. In this case, we're using a people counting analytic. So to understand from a corporate campus perspective, but also understanding those in the restaurants and understanding queue management, how maybe we want to staff our stores appropriately. Deriving operational efficiency. Again, using people counting, understanding how many patrons we have in the store, we can then derive you know, appropriate roasting plans and manufacturing so that we have the right number of product on hand. And then from a retail store analysis, counting the number of people that walk in and leave. So maybe a bounce rate, understanding, you know, people come in, they see the long line, they turn around and leave or separating team members from customers. So either using facial recognition or appearance similarity, excluding those employees to have a better understanding of your consumers as opposed to total number of people in the store.